What's up guys, PQTCG here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at the potential redemption of the Pokemon TCG Live. Those are words that I thought, I a while ago, if you would have asked me this when I made my previous video on PTCG Live, I don't think I would have ever been saying these words. But here I am today. Um, yes, this is not clickbait. I actually think that PTCG Live does potential has the potential to have a future like a positive outlook towards looking towards the future and um i think it kind of starts with the battle log so if you aren't aware the pokemon trading card game live recently added the battle log which has been one of the most requested things from ptcg live since day one before like as soon as we knew there was a new client, we wanted everything that PTCGO, it, uh, PTCG Live's predecessor had, and Live did not have that upon release. And it got a lot of people really upset, and rightfully so, very disappointed. And when the game left beta, uh, I think like six months ago or something like that, uh, which is crazy to think about. I made a video um, like a couple days after it left beta, basically saying that PTCG Live had no excuses to be such a garbage client, which is basically what it became, was just a really bad, really stupid client. Like that, honestly, nobody deserved to, uh, nobody deserved how bad it was because uh it was just it was so bad i i made an entire rant about it if you want to hear me talk about why all the bad things about ptcg live then check out the previous video on it i don't want to talk super negatively about this today because i think that we finally are taking steps forward ptcg live has been in constant uh develop in this just development I wouldn't say development hell because I don't think that's exactly true, uh, but I'd say it's been uh, not a priority, I think, and the developers are a little slower than they probably should be for what they're trying to do. Now, uh, you, we should make it, I should make it clear here that um, Pokemon is not getting monetized by PCCG Live. This is purely a client uh, for playing the game. There's no, like, you can't spend real money in the game, so it's not a priority on the Pokemon Company International's list. Uh, they're probably working on some new Pokemon games right now that they actually can earn money from, and so that's why they're putting a lot of resources into that. Okay, so a bit of a quick update on this uh, little bit that I said in the original video. Uh, this is me post, like, editing here, and... This is after Pokemon Day 2024, so there have been a little bit of uh, updates made, and one of the games that was announced was a game called Pokemon TCG Pocket, which is, uh, in my opinion, it's a really weird, like, gotcha game or something. It, it, sorry, but, like, my opinion on this is now that looks like it's going to be monetized, judging by a few of the, like, context clues of... Uh, what they were advertising, and it's got me a bit worried, definitely, like, I think that this might be a kind of a, kind of a bad thing, maybe for PTCGL, because it might take the focus away from PTCG, um, from PTCG Live with PTCG Pocket, which is, like, this whole other online client is developed by a whole nother third party, uh, so there might be hope for it just kind of, like, being its own separate thing, um, but I just wanted to kind of throw that out there since this did happen recently and I just wanted to kind of throw that in the mix just because it is or could potentially be a big deal and I just want to keep this the most up to date as possible before I get this out as an actual video once I'm done editing okay back to the back to the video here but um with the introduction of the battle log into pcc's live i think that there is finally hope for the game uh two years later than we would have wanted originally but i think it's a step in the right direction um, now, some of you might be wondering uh, why I'm making a video on PTCG Live and not on Expanded. Uh, I did make a community poll on my Twitter, uh, like, last week, asking if you guys would want to hear me talk about Expanded. And uh, I think it was, like, 60... Or no, it was, like, 60 people yeah. voted, and it was, like, I think 85% of you guys said you did. Um, that's probably not correct, but... 
I decided, um, I, I like, I recorded the whole video and everything, I was ready to edit it, and then I realized that Expanded is exactly the same as before. It's a barren wasteland. Actually, if you look at Paradox Rift, the Paradox Rift Expanded format, it's the least amount of players, I think, ever in the Expanded format. Uh, if you look on Limitless CCG. So I was like, yeah, I don't really want to make another negative video on the channel. Instead, I, I think we can actually make this a lighthearted video today uh, because this is this is good. In my opinion, I think that this is what we need. Do I think that we need to take the gas off or the foot off the gas pedal? No, like we need to keep going. This is a... Uh, we don't want to make this a one step forward, two steps back scenario, which is basically what PTCG Live has been. Um, a good example of this is like making the game, uh, the game originally when it was uh, released was way too slow and like it was agonizing to try and play the game because it was just so freaking slow. It was ugh, like games lasted, uh, games that normally last would like maybe 10 minutes would now last like 25 minutes because the animations were so slow and basically in order to fix this the developers decided let's make the game faster and when they did make the game faster everyone was getting lost because now these animations are going way too quickly you might have missed a, something that your opponent played like if they played for example a super rod and you didn't notice what they put in back in with their super rod then you had no way of knowing and then later, if they just drew into something that, that you thought was in their discard pile, then you're scrambling. You're like, where did this come from? I didn't, wasn't able to prepare for this at all. Um, and it just became this whole mess. Um, the game just felt a lot worse because nobody could understand anything that was happening. And I think finally that the battle log fixes this problem. Now, the battle log is incredibly detailed. It was... It's a lot faster. The game's a lot faster, but now the battle log makes this comprehensible. Like, you can understand what's happening. Like, if we look here, um, this is an example of the battle log in use. So, um, if you look here, you can see every single action that Trust Your Pilot was able to take. And that's amazing. You can see everything that he did. He attaches an energy, um... And maybe your opponent missed that. They're like, hey, how did this Mew, if they like looked away for a minute, how did this Mew turn, get to the active spot or switch out with the Snorlax? And now they know that it was an attached retreat. And you wouldn't have been able to know that if like the game was still super fast. So this is an example of the battle log in action. Uh, again, big shout out to Trust Your Pilot, by the way. He's awesome. He's been covering PTCG Live since day one. He's basically our main source for PTCG Live news and stuff like that. Um, so massive shout out to him. A uh, link to his channel will be in the description. But looking at the battle log, you can see how detailed this is. Like, and it shows you like the card uh, that they played. Uh, it shows you like a, a, a description of what that card did. Um, it just, it seems like it's a great step. It's a great step forward. And it just gives me hope because we finally um, are getting somewhere with this game where we've been asking for so many features that PTCG Live uh, hasn't had and that PTCGO did have. Um, we've been asking for this for ever since it came out and I think they're finally starting to take in the community's feedback and input and um, but I mean we still have problems. Um, the infinite, there was the infinite rewards glitch that we had which was ridiculous. Um, basically you could just keep getting reward it's over and over again and amass like infinite credits and money and stuff and it was this whole mess i don't know how they possibly managed to let this slide but like i think that the ptcg live uh features really are becoming more quality of life sometimes they don't fix things though until it's been proven that it's broken for example if you guys remember the spirit tomb meta where for like a day spirit tomb was so broken that it just locked your opponent out of the game and so people were literally playing four of spirit tombs and and nothing else and just winning because spirit tomb auto wins you the game um so um, and then PTCG Live was like, instead of just fixing it right away, they had to ban every card that blocked abilities until they fixed it uh, days later. Like, and the response time, it's there, but the actual, like, getting it done takes forever. And it's like, 
basically i think the mind the mind the mindset i guess the mentality is more of like if it ain't broke don't fix it and that's true to a certain extent like a lot of things still are broken or a lot of things are just worse than um what ptcgo had i think this is a perfect example here um here it is um missing features on day one um no true expanded format well we don't yeah we already talked about expanded is not really even that worth it anymore i honestly wouldn't care any less and i don't think anyone would care if they didn't add expanded at all to the mix um there's no glc you can't play the gym leader challenge which i guess is arguably acceptable since glc is not an officially sanctioned pokemon thing but it's ironic because uh pokemon has like acknowledged its existence and is allowed for like official tournaments and stuff it's not an official format um there's no collection viewer um the only way you can look at cards now right now is uh if you um look through while you're building a deck which is kind of dumb there's no going first notification um yeah your opponent just says like winning the coin flip uh wait what i actually don't think uh no going first notification uh i think that the game does give you that actually so um no game log that was fixed on uh day 728 literally two years later they added uh the game log which was present in ptcgo um there was no end screen where you can see your opponent's deck list like something where you can like see your opponent's deck list because sometimes you see something really cool and you want to see what it is but you can't because all you can see are, is now just the battle log and how much damage you did and who won so um it's a little sad uh no way to mute your opponent i have complained about this a lot especially while i'm recording because uh, the emote spam gets really annoying because, like, and there's no way to mute that. There's no way to just be like, hey, look, I don't want to see your creepy avatar doing the same thing over and over again. And then taking the final prizes is manual, not automatic. Now, I think, um, this, this definitely is, a, like, I guess skewed in a way, it's made, presented in a way where it's, um, still a little bit negative light in a negative light but there are some things missing here like um before there was no um automatic prize or there was no like multi-prize like if you took let's say you use raiding greninja and you use moonlight shuriken on two pokemon there was no way to just take two prizes at the same time you had to take one and then take one and it would just slow the game down a lot and um it made it really annoying um um this is a really good, uh, Will Post right here said, well, so we're on pace to have a PTCGO equivalent by 2042. Um, that's, uh, that's definitely true. Um, at the pace that the live developers are going, as I previously mentioned, we probably won't see all of these asks, like all these things that we were asking about and that we've been kind of begging about for a long time. I don't think we'll actually see them come to fruition uh, for years probably it will probably until we get to ptcgo levels which mind you was 11 years ago this client was made uh, was uh like i guess 12 or 13 years ago now uh when it retired it was 11 years old um it had all these features and that's incredible for such an old client and the fact that there was like nothing it was live was made completely from scratch i believe uh, it's incredibly interesting to think about the fact that, uh, we're basically worse off than PTCGO. Um, the only thing that's different is you can craft cards and the board, the game looks different. Those are the only things that are different with PTCG Live. But I think with the introduction of the battle log, as I mentioned earlier, this is a good step for PTCG Live. Is it the final step? No, they still have so much work to do. Um, it's gotten it's gotten bad to the point where uh, we have fan projects being worked on. You have I think we have like three or four different fan made projects in the works right now to try and make a better client than what PTCG Live has right now. Um, I hope that they're like they come out eventually because I'd love to see things like Twin Leaf. Um, I think there's there's another 
uh, another few simulators I don't remember the names to right now but uh, I think that we there there is a future for this client um, but it would honestly be really funny and also like kind of a shame if uh, there's a fan-made project that does better than the actual official product. So if BTCG Live wants to continue the way it's going, um, where it's like improving, they're going to have to step it up a little bit because um, we can't just let let him like, go easy on him and say, hey, look, thanks for adding a battle log. Now uh, you can, that's all. I think you, you've done pretty good. You guys can take a rest because it might turn into like a Minecraft situation where it's like, uh, oh, we worked so hard on getting this battle log in. Let's add nothing important um, forever. We'll, we'll just kind of add these minuscule little things in throughout time that don't actually really affect the gameplay at all and doesn't make anything actually better or more interesting. And instead, we'll just give you more useless updates that don't do anything. And I think that we need to just keep pushing the PTCG Live devs, not in a disrespectful way and not in a way where it would be like considered rude or like passive aggressive, that sort of stuff, but just give them, keep giving them feedback. I think, I don't know exactly how to directly do that, but just keep giving feedback, um, supporting them because look, it's not easy being a developer. Um, I, for my like, I gotta say, like, my four or five years of, like, coding on Scratch, <laughs> that's so, that's so cringe, uh, but, um, as someone who's made games myself, um, it's not easy because I've, I've had a lot of people in the past pressure me and say, like, hey, when's this game coming out, or this could be this, and that sort of stuff, it gets overwhelming, and I totally understand, um, it, where it's, like, on where where my experience is magnified theirs is on a much bigger scale you have to think this client is supporting thousands of people whereas like my games are probably a few hundred people at a time this client is supporting the entire pokemon tcg community and i think that we need to give the lives devs a little bit we need to ease off a little bit on them but at the same time continue continue giving your feedback continue uh just saying like what do you want what do you want from ptcg live at the end of the day this is supposed to be for the players this is supposed to be a usable client um that allows you to be able to play the pokemon tcg online um the exact same way that ptcgo was used uh with newer cards and it's supposed to be better than its predecessor it's still not at the same level or it's not even close to the same level but we're getting there and i think that's really where i want to leave this video off is just saying that this battle log can symbolize uh potentially a bright future for this client if they continue at the rate that they're going there's still a lot to fix and there's still a lot to be done but I think that this is a good first step forward to making a newer and better Pokemon TCG Live. So that's where I'm going to leave it off. I know that was a lot of talking and that was a lot of just randomly bouncing around. But this is kind of more of a positive uh, a rant in a positive sense. And I just want to make this video because I think it's important, especially as someone who uses this platform uh, when I make videos. And I think it's really important just to touch up on it. So a uh, big shout out to Trust Your Pilot. Um, and also there's been a, a number of other people who have been talking about this topic. Um, Ten Types as well has made a video recently about PTCG Live potentially uh, becoming better. So if you want to support uh, Trust Your Pilot and Ten Types, I will link link both of their channels in the description but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you all so much for watching as always god bless have fun we'll see you out there and we'll see you next time thank you all so much for watching